Meanwhile, on the weather front, I mean, uh, Eric, you and I kind of commute from different sides of right. the area, mm -hmm. coming in on Copeland Avenue, and usually you're focused on the traffic, but I took a quick look over uh, at the river, and it, it's significantly high. I mean, Most we are definitely. not mincing words when we're talking about how high these these rivers are. No, we're not. And one thing to note about this, Ken, is this has the potential, especially in the cross, to go into the major flood stage area. And we'll go ahead and talk about that coming up uh, in just a couple seconds. Take a look here at the latest river levels at this hour. Uh, Mississippi River at Wabasha sitting at 15.33 feet. You're projected to crest at 16.4 feet on Monday. Winona, 16.87 feet is your current. I mean, everybody's above flood stage, no matter how you slice and dice it. You're going to go to 18.6 feet by Tuesday. Trimpolo, you're sitting at 649.51 feet. You're projected to go to 650.8 feet, not inches, feet on Monday. And La Crosse, you're sitting at 13.94 feet. We're projected to crest here uh, Sunday at 15.9 feet. Now, if we get to 15.9 feet on Sunday, which we will. This is only going to be the fourth time where this has happened. So we're sitting at 13, 13.9, four feet is where we are. Major flood stage is 15.5. We've only been there three other times. Now is 1965, April 22nd to be exact, at 17.89 feet. 2001 was 16.41 feet, then 15.7 feet back on April 20th in 1969. So this is only going to be the fourth time since we've been keeping records that this is going to happen. So this is something that we'll be keeping an eye on over the next several days. As for that flood warning, you can see the areas shaded in green. That flood warning is in effect until even the National Weather Service says until further notice. So make sure you have that free News 8000 First Warn Weather app on your device to receive the latest information, especially if you lived in the, the flood prone areas. Now, in terms of rain right now, Nothing to talk about on the radar scan for now. Some of this is not being picked up uh, on the ground. It is being picked up on the radar, but the rain chances will start to linger as we go into your evening and overnight hours. Here's 2 o'clock in the morning over towards La Crosse, over towards Sparta, seeing some heavy showers and thunderstorms. As we take a look at the 4 o'clock, that wave pushes its way out. We'll be left with cloudy skies. Then another round pushes its way through as we go into the morning and afternoon hours of your Thursday. So again, we don't need the precipitation, especially with all that flooding going on. So numbers for today, we made it to 47 after a morning start of 37. 61 and 40 is where we should be for this time of year. Eau Claire, good evening to you guys. You're at 41 degrees. Year feels like temperature is 32 with winds out of the east southeast at 17 miles per hour. A little bit closer to home in La Crosse, 43 degrees. We have cloudy skies. It feels like 36 out there with winds out of the east at 15 miles per hour. So here's your setup. Just to the south of us, you see this warm front. This is going to push its way up and over into the Cooley region. You see the slow pressure associated with it. That's going to be the dominating factor for that rain as we go into tomorrow. Back behind it is another cold front, and that's what's going to drop the temperatures as we go into the second half of the work week. Yeah, we'll see temperatures going up again, but they're only going to tank. And you can see the proof is right here as to what's going on. We see 70s and 80s from Omaha to St. Louis. We're not going to tap into the 70s. We will go back into the 60s, though, but then back behind that front is where we're seeing those temperatures in the 40s and 50s. So the first warm forecast for tonight, 43 degrees will be the overnight low. Thunderstorm chances will pick up overnight. Otherwise, it's going to stay cloudy and breezy with winds out of the east at 15 to 20 miles per hour. For tomorrow, we got a 59 with thunderstorm chances by the noon hour. How about 63 by the 2 o'clock hour? Then upper 50s by the 4 o'clock hour, low 50s by 6, upper 40s, low 50s by the 8 o'clock time frame. That takes us into the next eight days. Here we go. Like I said, we'll see a cool front push through. We'll go to 52 on Friday, 45 for Saturday. Not going to rule out a chance of a wintry mix Friday night going into Saturday. Sunday, we'll see partly cloudy skies with a high of 47. We go back into the 50s for Monday. We stay in the 50s for Wednesday going into next Thursday, but not so good news right now in terms of the rain chances as the next six out of eight days, we have them. Yeah. All right, Eric Dean with the latest. Thanks very much, you man. Bet.